Hello and welcome to Jurisage Academy's YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to discuss important weekly legal news from 31st October to 5th November 2022. In first important news, the Supreme Court has banned the two-finger test and has held that the violation of this will amount to a misconduct. In the judgment of State of Jharkhand versus Shailendra Kumar Rai, the Supreme Court has banned the two-finger test. It has said that this court has time and again deprecated the use of two-finger test in cases alleging rape and sexual assault. The so-called test has no scientific basis. It instead re-victimizes and re-traumatizes women. The two-finger test must not be conducted. The court has also relied on the landmark judgment in Lilu vs. State of Haryana, a 2013 case. Further, the Supreme Court has issued directions to the union as well as the state governments to ensure that the guidelines formulated by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare are circulated to all government and private hospitals. In second important news, the Supreme Court has held that a bribe giver is a party connected to the proceeds of crime can be prosecuted under the Prevention of Money Laundering Act of 2002. In the case of Directorate of Enforcement versus Padmanabham Kishore, the Supreme Court has held that by handing over money with the intent of giving bribe, such person will be assisting or will knowingly be a party to an activity connected with the proceeds of crime. Without such active participation on part of the person concerned, the money would not assume the character of being proceeds of crime. The relevant expressions from Section 3 of the Prevention of Money Laundering Act are thus wide enough to cover the role played by such person. In third important news, the Supreme Court has held that the power under Section 319 of CRPC should be exercised sparingly. In the judgment of Naveen versus State of Haryana, the court has said that power under Section 319 of CRPC is a discretionary and extraordinary power which should be exercised sparingly and only in those cases where the circumstances of the case so warrant and the test as noticed above has to be applied is one which is more than prima facie case as exercised at the time of framing of charge but short of satisfaction to an extent that the evidence would lead to conviction. While holding this, the Supreme Court has relied on the constitution bent judgment in the case of Hardeep Singh versus State of Punjab. Lastly, the Supreme Court has held that non-reporting of sexual assault despite knowledge is a serious crime under the POCSO Act. In the case of State of Maharashtra versus Dr. Maruti, the court has observed that non-reporting of sexual assault against a minor child despite knowledge is a serious crime. The court has held that in view of the decision in Shankar Kishan Rao case, a 2013 judgment, Holding non-reporting of such crime as serious and in view of the position given under sections 19 clause 1 and 21 of the POCSO Act, such persons are also liable to be proceeded with in accordance with law. This brings us to the end of our weekly legal update. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.